Okay, today I have the first of three diet sabotagers that are silently sabotaging your ability to lose fat. My name is Terrell and I am one of the coaches here at Beyond 40 and my job is to get you to your fat loss goals quickly. But my goal is to get you there quickly with optimal health because fat loss is easy, optimal health, that changes your life. So today we're going to talk about hydration and I know, I know it is so cliche to say you need to drink more water, you need to drink more water and I'll tell you what, if you end up on a coaching call with me, I will ask you, do, how much water do you think you drink a day? And the most common response to that question is, you know what, I drink a lot of water but I should probably drink more. And most people honestly don't even know, they couldn't answer it in the amount of ounces they think they drink a day. This is, this is my, my water glass or container, whatever. It's 24 ounces, I drink five of them a day. I make sure that I do. So let's talk about why. Let's talk about how first, how it affects your ability to lose fat. Your brain, when you become even the tiniest amount of dehydrated, I'm talking like 1%, that is so small, it switches off your thirst signals and it turns on your hunger signals. So it's automatically going to make you feel hungry more than thirsty. Not that you won't begin to feel thirsty, but that hunger signal kicks right in. So you're going to want to have a snack. And this a lot of times is why we get to that midday and we feel like we need a snack. Like, why am I hungry? I just ate. Hey, you might need hydration. And secondly, it lowers your energy level. And it does this to prevent you from using up the energy or the hydration levels that are already diminishing. So it lowers your energy level. Well, here's a fun fact. As soon as your energy level starts to go down and we need a pick me up, now your brain turns on a craving for sugar and fat. And by the way, that is the perfect combination for fat gain. And we do not want that. Like we do not want that signal. And it's very difficult for us to stifle cravings, especially when we think it's for food, but it's actually for hydration. And the last way that this compromises your ability to lose fat is that it affects your gut health. It really diminishes your gut health. You actually um, lose the ability to produce the amount of digestive juices you actually need to process all your foods, extract the nutrients, use them and everything that comes with eating great foods. And so when this happens, guess what? Now it's gonna lower your metabolism. And now we're in a really bad space because our metabolism is lowered, our hunger is on high, and we're craving sugar and fat, which if you can think about your days when you go through them, you can see the points that this happens in. And it's great to be able to see them because that's when we can correct them. Not only that, but just as far as a daily feeling of life, it affects your mood, it affects your ability to concentrate, and it will leave you with a headache. So here's the thing, how much water do we need? Like really, what is the answer? Well, guess what? It's different for everybody. And if you look this up online, you will find a hundred different answers, all from people that are very smart and very knowledgeable and are really just trying to get people to optimal health. So, but the amount of water that you need a day is gonna depend on your activities, the environment that you live in, and the food that you eat, because some foods like say watermelon, they have a lot more um, water in them. And so the foods you eat can definitely play a part. And guess what? Age, age plays a huge role in how much water you need today. I'm 52 years old, so I know how this happens and I can see it happening in my life. Um, because when you age, starting actually in your mid to late thirties, your muscle mass declines. Your muscle holds so much water in your body. So as you age and your muscle mass declines, you're unable to hold as much water as you used to. So you become dehydrated more quickly. So all of these symptoms that are happening because of hydration happen more quickly and more regularly as we age. Okay. So truly, how do we measure how much water that we need now? Right? Honestly, I want you to look at your urine. I know it's terrible, but you know what? It should be clear to light yellow. Anything more than that is too much water because you just like you can't put 14 ounces of water in a 12 ounce glass. Just keep it clear to light yellow. Anything more than light yellow, you need to drink more water. I don't want you to drink a whole bunch of water at one time because again, your body can't like absorb it. So just make it all day long. Just keep a constant glass of water. And I know 
coaching clients say to me all the time, I don't like water. Well, guess what? This is where the hard truth comes in. You probably also didn't used to like beer, red wine, or Brussels sprouts. So please try to do it. If you love some flavor in there, drop some lemons in there, some limes, you know what? Um, cucumber water, I absolutely love. Same with strawberries. Anyway, put a little bit of real fruit in there. Stay away from the flavorings, the artificial colors, all this garbage. It doesn't help you. Your body doesn't have the ability to actually do anything with it. So that's my soapbox for today. Anyway, thank you for listening. And you know what I would love to hear? I would love to hear how many ounces of water that you drink a day and um, see how you're going to be able to improve that. So drop me a comment, hit me a like, and you know what? I'll see you next time. Bye.